If you were to say that you wanted to follow people, you might get some strange looks. Don't worry. These days, there's nothing illegal or shady about this, at least not in SharePoint. In SharePoint terminology, it's similar to liking or friending someone on Facebook or following them on Twitter or LinkedIn. It's a way to stay in touch with what's going on with people you know, people you'd like to know, people who talk about or have insights into or experience with things you're interested in, and so forth. In SharePoint, when you follow someone, you're notified about their blog posts, tags, document uploads, and other information they post without having to try to actually find everything they post within sites, lists, and libraries. Instead, it's all shown in your news feed on your My Site. Now, there are several ways to follow someone, and I actually have several pages open here within SharePoint, just to make it a little faster to get around. First of all, in our You Got a Training site, if we go into any one of our lists and libraries like Shared Documents, we may find something that interests us. In this case, it's not a person, it's actually a document. If we click to select this document, we have a couple of things that we can do pretty much from any SharePoint page. On the upper right-hand corner, next to your name, you'll find a button or a link that says Follow. Clicking or tapping on this lets you follow this entire website. So this is following the site itself. If we want to follow You Got It Training, this is all we have to do. If we want to follow a specific document, then we need to select the document, move to the ribbon, and click or tap on the Files tab, look for the Share and Track group, and then we'd click or tap the Follow option from here. This allows us to follow this particular document or entry. We were originally talking about following people. So how would we do that? Well, again, anywhere in SharePoint that we run across a person's name, we can follow them. One way, though, is to actually find a person's profile. I've actually opened up my SharePoint profile. Now, remember, I'm currently logged in as Michael Brooks. And if Michael Brooks wants to follow Erin Olson, he can pull up the profile and right at the top of her profile page, it says, follow this person. A simple click or a tap makes that possible. The good news is it's also very easy to stop following a person or a document. You can see that our entries change. Because Michael is currently following Aaron, the link now says stop following this person. And with another very simple click or tap, you can stop following them as well. Part of what we're looking for can be seen right here, though, in the Aaron profile. Because as part of her news feed, it actually tells us who she's following. Aaron is following Jacob. You can stop following Aaron. Aaron is following Michael Brooks. Stop following Aaron. So all of these things are now being built up as part of the social networking features that are built into SharePoint. It's all simply a matter of a click or a tap, and SharePoint does the rest of the work. But what if we wanted to follow a lot of different people? Maybe there were five or six people within our organization that had skills or talents that we wanted to keep track of. It could get pretty cumbersome having to go into all of their profiles individually. Have no fear. There's a simple way to accomplish all of this. You do it by going to your own profile. So in this case, we're going to go to the profile for Michael Brooks. This is the My Site for Michael Brooks. When we open a My Site, we can see on the left-hand side that there is a link for the news feed, and that's where we want to make sure that we are. This is where all of the information is going to be built up about the things that Michael wants to track, including who he is following. At the top of the page, there are links that let us go to who he's following, seeing everyone, or seeing something called mentions that we'll talk about a little bit later on. On the right-hand side, there's actually a whole area for following. It currently says that Michael is following one person. He's also following one document and two websites, and currently isn't working with any tagging and doesn't have any trending tags. If Michael wants to see who the one person is that he's following, he can simply click on that number for the person on the right-hand side of the screen. This brings up a detailed list which in this case is not very detailed because Michael's only following one person, and that's Aaron. So we certainly can get an overview of who Michael is following, including not only people, but also documents and websites. But I promised you that this would be a fast, easy way to follow multiple people. In order to do that, we need to use the link that's at the top of the screen. It says, follow multiple people, and if you give it a click or a tap, it opens a very simple window. It says follow people, and all you have to do is start typing in names of people you know. Now, Michael is already following Aaron, but if you start typing a name, SharePoint will autofill based on all of the user accounts that it has. So you do not have to know somebody's precise name. 
exactly how their account is entered or even how to spell it. It will simply provide a list of autofilled entries if you can type enough of it to narrow it down. Notice that if we do a quick backspace and change it from Aaron to Eric or just ERI, that the list gets larger. This, of course, makes it very easy to find people in larger organizations without having to do a lot of typing. We'll go ahead and click on Eric Olson. Notice that it gets an underline, just like we're used to seeing in Outlook, when it verifies that that is a valid name. If we want to remove the name, we can simply click or tap on the X. We can put in basically as many names as we want. When we're all finished, we can click or tap the option that says Follow on the bottom right side of this little window, and all of the people that we entered will now be followed. It's that easy. Turnabout is fair play, and not only can you see who you're following, but you also can see your followers. That can be a little bit of an ego boost if that's important, or just to find out who's taking a look at what you're doing. By clicking or tapping on My Followers, then you get to see a similar list, but from the opposite side, the people that are following you. As the people that you're following work in SharePoint, you will get your newsfeed built up with their information, their blog posts, their comments, their ratings, and a variety of other information. All you need to do is come into your newsfeed and you'll be able to quickly and carefully review all of that information in one place instead of having to go from site to site. What you now know is that following isn't a bad thing. Following in SharePoint is similar to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and other social media sites. It allows SharePoint to notify you when content is posted, documents are changed, or sites are modified. We can follow people, documents, and sites. Following can be initiated from many different places in SharePoint. Just look for that following link and give it a click once you've selected the item or the person that you're interested in. To follow specific people, the simplest way may be to view their MySite profile or access your own newsfeed and add them there. You can stop following from your newsfeed with a couple of clicks. From your newsfeed, you can also see who is following you as well as who you are following. If you currently don't use following, Start with maybe one or two relevant, important people, such as your supervisor or a document that you know you need to stay on top of for a current project. It's a good way to get started. Above all else, don't forget that the ability to follow people, documents, and sites is one of the newer social networking features of SharePoint. It aligns very nicely with the rest of the social world and the millennial generation who are used to being able to do this with people and content. It really is much more than just a social trend, though. Being able to follow and do some other of these types of things in SharePoint gives you a single place where you can look to see what's happening. And most importantly, it will save you time and effort by helping ensure that you don't miss important updates or changes to content.